well this is a heretical Episcopalian church in Glasgow just off the Great Western Road and uh, it was just after the pagan feast of Christmas um, that they got this canter in to read out the Quran which I'll tell you what it says after this um, as we can see they're, they're ignorant of what she's saying they don't have a clue until later on they find out which verses she read rather interestingly and you can see the altar that she's using um, for me it speaks about the book of Ezra the second book of Ezra uh, the beast from the sea which is the eagle uh, it's, it's uh, very interesting that in the last days the eagle is very prominent in the empires that are you know, battling today, the American Empire, the Islamic Empires and eagles used even in Nazism, uh, Adolf Hitler used the eagle. It's synonymous of course with Rome, it's very much a, uh, a symbol of Rome as well. Let's hear what she's got to say. What she's probably saying is that when Islam takes over, you know, the religious communities, that they'll be the first to be executed unless they convert. I'd imagine quite a few of them would convert if it, if it came to be that their heads would be chopped off. The Episcopalian was uh, the first, one of the first Christian churches to inaugurate gay bishops and to do gay marriages. And we, we all thought the next step would be, you know, pedophilia, mar marrying children. But we're wrong. Uh, we're trying to integrate with uh, the local, you know, the next step for them is to integrate with the local Islamic community. You know, very ironically, if they got power, these guys would be history. Well, let's find out exactly what she was saying. And here it is the girl singing. The passage finishes by reciting verse, these verses here. It translates. It does not befit God that he has he begets a son. <laughs> this is just right after Christmas, just at the start of the year. And the bishop, who I believe is from down south somewhere, actually handed in his resignation after this incident. <laughs> it's interesting. Lovely name. Uh, Michael Nazar Ali. Okay, that's interesting. I, I just think that um, real Christianity, nobody knows what real Christianity is, and I, I, as far as I understand, um, there's a lot of apostate Islam as well, that they uh, don't actually recognize some of the scriptures that they have. I'll just show you a couple here. It's about uh, Jesus' death and resurrection, yeah? Day is born, day he dies. You see, um, in Islam, they deny that Jesus died, but there, there is Jesus prophesying of his death and also prophesying of his resurrection, which I've said before, uh, credibly. And if that's not enough, Jesus speaking himself, this is Allah or the, the God of the Quran saying, O oh Jesus, verily I shall cause thee to die. And then it mentions about the resurrection. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, yeah, that God will contend against those who are bent on denying the truth, literally, probably, in this case, um, unto the day of resurrection. It's mentioning de uh, Jesus' death, resurrection here. This is all the different translations into English. This is it in Arabic here. Transliteration. Okay. All these translations mean the same thing. 
Jesus' death and talking about the day of resurrection. So I wonder if we could read out that in a Christian church because the, the Christian churches really don't know what's up and what's down these days. Um, it's just very much irony within religious communities these days. Um, they need they need to see these scriptures and a lot like them um, to be shown about who Jesus Christ truly is. He came to die and he was resurrected um, to pay for the sins of his people. Hallelujah. Because he lived a, a blameless, spotless, blemishless life as the Quran also testifies. Thanks for listening.